Good morning, good morning. Happy February 1st. All right, before you step on the scale this morning, before, maybe you already did, and I'm sorry if you already did and you didn't get this message. I'm a few minutes after the Daily Dose at 8 o'clock, 8.09. Today is 8.09 Daily Dose, but before you step on the scale this morning, you got to do this. Listen, my name is Mark Avis. I am your Bulletproof Christian Fitness Mentor, and I am so excited. Today is February first now if you're about to get on that scale you're gonna have to do this first 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 you're gonna have to do this first first don't get on the scale don't get on the scale now let's just kind of do a little recap from the weekend whatever's happened in the weekend whatever happened in january guess what it's gone it's you can't get january 2021 back i don't even know i feel like i blinked my eyes (laughs) <laughs> January was gone, like dust in the wind, like completely gone. It's behind you. The good news is, if you're watching this, you're still alive. You're still breathing. You still have a heartbeat. You're still with us. I'm excited for you because you get another day, hopefully another month, hopefully another year, maybe even more years to live life and to truly have life in your year, so to speak, right? As cliche as it might sound, but it's February, February 1st on a Monday. How much more awesome could that be? It's not that worse than like starting a new month during your like during the week, but it is Monday. And before you step on the scale, I want you to do this. I want you just to say, just be grateful, grateful that you made it. Maybe it sucked. Maybe January, you're like, oh, 2021 is going to be a brand new me. I'm going to get my act together. I'm going to lose the weight. I'm going to get in shape. It's going to be the start of a whole new, fresh new year. I'm not going to worry about what other people think or whatever people are saying. I'm not going to let all the distractions get in the way. And now you're at February 1st and you're like, (laughs) exactly what happened is what happened. Exactly what I didn't want to happen was what happened. And now you're looking and you're like, like you're getting that kind of angst in your, your mind thinking like, I don't want to step on the scale. I know I didn't. I know, I know I didn't do too well this past week or weekend, maybe you get on the scale every single day. And here's what I want you to do before you get on the scale. Maybe this month is the month you just don't even get on the scale. Like, cause the reality is you probably don't need to get on the scale to know whether or not you're staying on track. And here's how you do that. Because the scale is, is really a vicious, vicious enemy because the scale, all it does is tell you what the number of your, your whole body ways. That's it. That's all it does. Doesn't tell you how fit you are. Doesn't tell how healthy you are. Doesn't it tell you how much muscle you have on your body. Even despite some of those machines that have like the body fat and the muscle. Yeah, you can get all that stuff. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, when I help people on a healthier path, get people when they're losing weight, getting in shape, like yes, the scale, the scale, the scale, but Mark, the scale isn't changing. Well, what are the pictures saying? Because I'm looking at your before and your pictures, your progress pictures, and they're telling us something different. Your body is is transforming. What you're telling me is your clothes are fitting better. Your body is transforming. You feel more confident. Your body is transforming. You see, there's really, there's really nothing transformational about what the scale says. Now, mind you, yes, if you say you're losing weight and you lose 20 pounds and 30 or 40, whatever, that's fantastic. That's fantastic if that's what you're in pursuit of. Maybe you need to lose 20, 30 pounds. Cool, cool. But I always come back to saying it's just the scale, right? There's a whole lot more to it. And, and while it's Monday and what I want to get across today is that if you can get your mind focused off the scale and start thinking about, well, why are you eating healthier? Because you want to have more energy, feel more alive, maybe not get tired and fatigued all the time, have more energy for your work or for your family, right? Those are the things to eat healthy. Healthy eating habits are going to produce awesome returns, helping you live a healthier life. It might even protect you from some of the things that are trying to attack us right now. Now, let's just talk about getting stronger and exercise, developing good heart health and developing strong muscles to protect your joints and to minimize the effects of aging and osteoporosis and uh, and arthritis. Now, mind you, yes, it comes down to the the aesthetics, right? You want to look good, right? Well, you want to look good. Well, what is that also coming? Is it the number on the scale? 
because to be honest with you, I've been married for 20 years. I don't care what the number on the scale uh, that I don't even, I don't even know what it is for my wife. I don't care. She probably wouldn't tell me anyway. She doesn't probably know the number on my, we don't care. What we care about is each other being healthy and fit. I know my wife busts her butt to, to eat as healthy as, and it's not perfect, but she busts her butt to get an exercise and to stay accountable, to get stronger and to get healthier. And we have a, a good, healthy, physical relationship if you get my drift. Like that's some of the things I want you to get excited about. So before you get on the scale, ask yourself, is it really going to serve you today? Now, don't get me wrong. Like you may be using that as one of your measures if you're trying to lose weight, but if you're so focused on what a silly number says on your scale, to, this could be the month that you actually could focus on so many of the benefits why you're exercising, why you're eating healthy, like the relationships that you have with yourself, the confidence that you have with yourself, the strength that you could potentially put in your body to, to fight off any kind of viruses, right? Can I get an amen there? Here's, the, here's what happens. The scale, the scale is a lot of people's enemy. I know. The scale could be the one thing that you're using to measure your success. Why a lot of diets, a lot of quick fixes, a lot of those, those challenges and things that, that are so fixated, you know, like Weight Watchers, how many pounds did you lose? Keto, how many pounds did you? Don't get me wrong, we talk about pounds in our program. But my students know and are being trained to understand that weight on the scale doesn't tell you how much how fit you are, it doesn't tell you, just the weight on the scale doesn't tell you how much muscle you have, it doesn't tell you how much fat you have, it just tells you how much weight is on the scale, how much your body is comprised, your bones and your muscles and your joints and what you ate the night before and what your body is retaining in fluids with water, right? That's it, I want you to understand that. So okay, have at it, go step on the scale now, you can do that, you listen to my rant about the scale, but I want you to know if your scale is saying, now, again, you might be frustrated because your scale today on February 1st is saying the exact same thing it said to you on January 1st, despite your best efforts. And maybe it's even saying something worse. Maybe it went up a few pounds. Maybe you're saying, Mark, how, how, I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm just so frustrated. I've tried everything. Well, a couple of things to that is maybe you've just given up. Maybe you've just stopped because you didn't work the plan that was in front of you. Now, whether it be a good plan or not a good plan, I don't know that. I can tell you, though, if you want a good plan or at least understand what my students are succeeding, how they're succeeding, is they have a legit plan with backed up research in the trenches. Literally, I've been doing this for, uh, for a long, long time, let's say that. And I would say it's a proven track record of success from past students. And if you want to succeed, sometimes it takes maybe looking at what you're doing isn't working so well. Maybe that quick fix diet that, you know, removing carbs altogether, removing sugar altogether, you know, not ever having a glass of wine ever again, like putting so much restriction, only eating 600 calories, right? Like only eating one meal a day, you know, those types of things, right? Like only having organic produce. Don't get me wrong. These are all things that could potentially work. But I would say is if you just come back to looking at the scale for verification, if you're doing well or not, you're going to need another option because the scale is a terrible liar. So going into your Monday, I hope this, this year, this year, this month, I hope February is an awesome month. It's going to be an awesome month for my students. And listen, uh, there's, there's options. You have options. You can keep struggling or you can actually find a solution. Now, I've said this a number of times and here it is, we are in February. Maybe you've been listening to me for a month. Maybe you've been listening to me for a year. Maybe you're still struggling. You're like, man, I keep hearing you, Mark, and I'm super inspired by you, but why do I keep struggling? Well, maybe you just don't have the plan, accountability, and structure that you need in your life. That's what helps me get to where I'm at in my fitness journey. It's where my students have, they have, they have, a, they have a plan. They have accountability. They have structure in their day. They know what they need to do to get it done. And they work the plan. And guess what? The plan comes back and works them and they get great results. Just like I've gotten great results from my health and fitness journey. So with that, I hope that before you get on the scale, you've listened to this. Even after, maybe this can reassure you that the scale is an enemy. It can be an enemy. <laughs> so be careful. If you're getting on it once a day, twice a day, maybe four times a day. 
and you're running yourself ragged wondering why the scale isn't moving, maybe it's something that you need to do is to move your scale away from you. That's all I got. Take care. Have a blessed day. Talk to you soon.